First of all, just want some congratulations Thank you. On, on that win last night. You're now in fighting form. We're having a, a new UK Prime Minister being announced today. Is there anything good that could come out of a Boris Johnson Premiership? Sadly, I don't think so. This is a man who isn't fit to be Prime Minister. Boris Johnson only cares about Boris Johnson. I mean, we saw that with the plight of the British woman, Nazanin Zakari Radcliffe, who was in an Iranian jail separated from her young daughter. And Boris turns up to the select committee as foreign secretary and hadn't even read his brief and ended up getting it so catastrophically wrong that his words were used against her in the trial in Iran. So you know, this is someone who is, is not serious enough and doesn't care enough to be Prime Minister. Do you think that the Lib Dems could now plausibly form a government if we had fresh elections? And that is absolutely our ambition because our country deserves better. Millions of people across the UK are looking at Boris Johnson with dismay, but they also look at Jeremy Corbyn taking Labour off to the far left, and they do not want to have to choose. Neither option is acceptable. And that's why we need a positive alternative. That's what the Liberal Democrats offer, to say we can transform our economy so it works for people and planet, we can stop Brexit so that we can have the resources and the influence to deal with these other issues which have had so little attention recently and that's but, what we'll offer. But would you rule out actually working in a coalition with anyone or in a confidence and supply agreement? Absolutely with uh, Jeremy Corbyn Labour Party and a Boris Johnson Conservative Party it's just not possible to imagine because both of these are Brexiteers which is so fundamentally opposed to our liber liberal principles of internationalism of working with other countries. Of course you know, we work across party all the time. The People's Vote campaign that we have been uh, playing a leading role in is a cross-party campaign. So I will continue to work with MPs of all parties where we share values, where we agree on the goals that we're trying to achieve. But Boris Johnson and Jeremy Corbyn are not in that category. Are you talking with potential defectors? I'm having private conversations. Obviously, Chuka Amuna joined us a few weeks ago and has been warmly welcomed by the Liberal Democrats. And I'm, I'm hopeful that we can see more MPs join our party, just as thousands of people across the country have been joining us in the last few weeks, and indeed uh, many more yesterday since I became leader. So, you know, the Liberal Democrats are a growing force, and to people out there that think this is not good enough, that are you know, shouting at the television in frustration, I just say, look, join us. You know, we're a party that can you know, stop Brexit and offer a better alternative, and it needs people to get involved and make it happen. How many defectors do you think you'll get? Well, I'm not going to put numbers on it for you, Francine. I'm having private conversations, and I recognise that it's a difficult decision for people if they've been in a political party for a long time, and they need to be able to have the space to reflect on that and to, to come to their, their own conclusions. But, but I am hopeful that it will happen, because you know, we are seeing the disintegration of, of both the Conservative and the Labour Party. They really are so far away from the mainstream that so many people, MPs included, feel like they are politically homeless effectively. What are the chances now of a second referendum? I think we've got a really good chance to secure and win a people's vote. Uh, at the last time Parliament voted on it 280 MPs supported it so that's obviously not yet a majority but not that many more needed to get it over the line and I think what you see now with Boris Johnson likely coming in as Prime Minister and really ramping up the threat of a no deal exit is that more MPs particularly Conservatives who have previously been loyal to the government because perhaps they've been ministers, but are very worried about the way forward. We'll see a people's vote as a way to break the impasse. Would you rather a, a people's vote, a second referendum, or a general election? I, I would much rather have a, a people's vote. I think we need a general election to stop Boris Johnson being uh, in Downing Street and to have a, a better government. But in the immediate challenge that we face with the 31st of October deadline, a people's vote is a way to actually resolve that issue and to be clear that that would be resolved, whereas there's not any guarantee that a general election would resolve the issue. After all, it didn't exactly into 2017.